Before the hum of refrigerators or the convenience of air conditioning, there was a time when ice was a treasure more valuable than gold. Can you fathom the engineering marvel that went into creating cool environments in scorching deserts or preserving food in the sultry summer months? Our ancestors did just that. This video will transport you back to an age where intricate cooling systems were born from necessity and ingenuity. We'll explore the brilliance of ancient Persians in building yak chals, giant ice houses, and the ancient Romans' mastery of aqueduct-cooled spaces. From the art of making ice in the desert to the architecture that harnessed wind and water for natural cooling, this is an exploration into an era of innovation that laid the groundwork for modern cooling technologies. But how did these ancient cooling systems work? And what can we learn from them today? Ancient Persian cooling systems. Ancient Persian cooling systems were ingenious methods of keeping cool in the hot and arid climate of the Iranian plateau. One such method was the use of wind catchers or badger in Persian. These remarkable structures are a common sight soaring above the rooftops of Yazd, a city in central Iran that is home to a system of ancient engineering marvels. Wind catchers are often rectangular towers, but they also appear in circular, square, octagonal, and other ornate shapes. The openings of the towers face the prevailing wind, catching it and funneling it down to the interior below. As a wind catcher requires no electricity to power it, it is both a cost-efficient and sustainable form of cooling. There are two main forces that drive the air through and down into the structures, the incoming wind and the change in the buoyancy of air depending on temperature, with warmer air tending to rise above cooler, denser air. First, as the opening of a wind catcher catches air, it is funneled down to the dwelling below, depositing any sand or debris at the foot of the tower. Then the air flows throughout the interior of the building, sometimes over subterranean pools of water for further cooling. Eventually, warm air rises and leaves the building through another tower or opening, aided by the pressure within the building. The shape of the tower, alongside factors like the layout of the house, the direction the tower is facing, how many openings it has, and its configuration of fixed internal blades, canals, and height are all finely tuned to improve the tower's ability to draw wind down into the dwellings below. Another ancient Persian cooling system was Yakchal, an underground refrigeration structure found primarily in Iran. These structures used evaporative cooling, radiative cooling, solar chimney, and diurnal heat reservoir techniques to store ice and food, ice houses. Ice houses were buildings used to store ice throughout the year commonly used prior to the invention of the refrigerator. Some were underground chambers, usually man-made, close to natural sources of winter ice, such as freshwater lakes, but many were buildings with various types of insulation. During the winter, ice and snow would be cut from lakes or rivers, taken into the ice house, and packed with insulation, often straw or sawdust. It would remain frozen for many months, often until the following winter, and could be used as a source of ice during the summer months. The main application of the ice was the storage of foods, but it could also be used simply to cool drinks or in the preparation of ice cream and sorbet desserts. The oldest written documents in the shape of a cuneiform tablet that date from 1780 BC record the construction of an ice house in the northern Mesopotamian town of Turka. It was built under the order of Zimri Lim, the king of Mari, and it was said that never before had any king built such a building. Archaeologists have found in China remains of ice pits from the 7th century BC, but there is also written evidence that the Chinese used them before 1100 BC. The Yakchal. Yakchals are ancient types of ice houses found primarily in Iran. These structures were built and used since ancient times in Persia. The term Yakchal is derived from the Persian words Yak, meaning ice, and Chal, meaning pit. The structure of a Yakchal typically had a domed shape above ground, a subterranean storage space, shade walls, and ice pools. It was often used to store ice, but sometimes it was used to store food as well as produce ice. The subterranean space and thick heat-resistant construction material insulated the storage space year-round. Yakchals were built of a unique water-resistant mortar called saruj, composed of sand, clay, egg whites, lime, goat hair, and ash in specific proportions. This material was resistant to heat transfer and is thought to be completely water impenetrable. Yakchals came into being around 400 BC, the giant conical structures allowed ice to be made and collected during the colder months and used throughout the year for things like preserving food and making faluda, a traditional Persian frozen dessert made with thin noodles and semi-frozen syrup. Different design features kept different yakchals cool, from spiral structures to wind towers and vents. Some yakchals had holes near the bottom to keep cool air flowing into the vast underground portion of the structure where the ice was made and kept, and holes near the top through which hot air would be funneled out. Walls were often built to keep the water shaded as it was channeled into the yakchals. 
so it would freeze faster. Modern applications. The real question is, why do we need to study these ancient architectures? Well, there exists ongoing research into how these historic cooling techniques can be adapted for modern uses to provide greener alternatives to conventional air conditioning systems. Today's applications of yesteryear's chilling systems are under continual study and upgrade to furnish a more eco-friendly alternative to conventional AC. The old badgers or wind catchers from Persia are being closely examined to understand their potential in delivering zero emission coolness. By leveraging natural wind and variances in temperatures, these structures facilitated cross-ventilation with passive cooling. No wonder they warrant renewed interest. Ancient cooling mechanisms have also evolved into our modern ice makers and ice houses, providing practical and resourceful means to chill. Domestic ice makers can churn out a substantial amount of ice daily, guaranteeing an unbroken supply for refreshments and food preservation. These gadgets come in various shapes and sizes, from the countertop versions to the built-in ones that can be slipped right next to your major home appliances. Detailing back on ancient civilizations, they had some effective methods of their own to beat the heat. Take the Badger or Persian wind catcher, for example. This classic architectural feature was engineered for cross-ventilation and passive building cooling. Another is the Yak Chal, also an ice house. These were discovered mainly in deserts like Dasht -e Lut and Dasht -e Kavir, having their primary function as literal ice makers. Ice houses were buildings designated for year-long icy storage and widely used before refrigeration technology came knocking. These early-on systems exemplify ingenuity at their best, while also laying the foundations for our contemporary cooling solutions. Just like ancient technologies have had makeovers over time into modern applications like ice makers and houses, providing a seamless way of achieving superior cool without any hassle. Domestic ice producers manage to freeze ample amounts every day, ensuring uninterrupted delivery of freezing finesse, be it drinks or preserved foods. If you're as intrigued as we are by the captivating journey through the past and its intersection with our present, don't miss out on the exciting content we have in store. Hit that follow button to stay updated on more captivating explorations of history's hidden gems and their modern echoes.